the uh, Don Lemon interview, the uh, Elon Musk thing. And I'm only bringing it up because I watched a video this morning where Elon Musk makes meme-worthy faces as he tries to wrap his head around the idea that Don Lemon doesn't understand the concept of hypotheticals. So if you didn't know, and this is just very amusing, so Don Lemon gets axed. Well, he ended up getting a payday. How much did he get from CNN? He got a nice payday, several, a few million. S 17 million? I don't know. Well, I know cut seven, we have some of it. Yeah, he, I mean, he got a nice payday. So let me just, let me just set it up and then we're going to play this. So he then makes a deal with X to where he has a new program and X is going to stream his show or carry his show exclusively. So it's not going to be on any other platform. And then I guess for one of his first interviews, Don Lemon decides to interview Elon Musk, the guy employing him, which is something you never really do if it's not going to be softball particularly. And it went horribly because Don Lemon, I guess, decided, okay, well, we've signed a contract, so I'm protected. You can't keep, you can't keep or fire me. You got to keep me, and I can just abuse you as much as I want. Well, he found out the hard way that Elon Musk doesn't care about any of that stuff and doesn't operate by societal demands. And so he fired him. And Don Lemon's been bitching and moaning this entire time. Uh, Audio Soundbite 7 gives you some insight. It was, he, because Musk got mad. Uh, and you could tell he was annoyed. And he was really trying to, you know, keep a hold of, I would have, I'd have been mad, I'd have yelled at him. Uh, but listen, this is Audio Soundbite 7. Uh, when the census is done, uh, the census is based on all, all people in an area, whether they are citizens, citizens or not. To Don Lemon. So uh, if there are a concentration of uh, people who came here illegally in, in, a, in a particular state or uh, in any particular state, that state will actually then get uh, an increased number of house seats. So the, the house seat apportionment is proportionate to the number of people, not the number of citizens. So the, 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 the illegals overwhelmingly go to places like California, New York. Um, and the, if you just look at the, the math, if, if, if you look at the apportionment with and without illegals, I believe California would lose, I believe, I believe the blue state, there would be a net loss of blue states of approximately 20 seats in the house. Uh, this also applies to the, the electoral college. Don so you say, no like, well, idea. this also applies to, to electing the president because the, the, the same, the electoral votes are also done by, by apportionment the same way that House seats are done. Don Lemon has no, he's just, Don Lemon is sitting there. He's not listening and absorbing this information. He's waiting to talk. There's a big difference. And you can tell, I hate that. But did you hear what he was asking for when, when he was, I mean, you know, I, I, you miss all the shots that you don't take, I guess. But he asked for in his contract, and all of this came out, he wanted a cyber truck, right? He wanted, what is it, $25 million, a cyber truck, and however many shares of X, or shares, a number, a number of shares in X. Isn't that what he wanted? Dude straight up asked for a cyber truck. I mean, he asked for that child's drawing. I'm kidding. So he, you know, he tried. Can you imagine that? Is he worth all that? Millions of dollars, a cyber truck and shares in X? Are you serious? Look, I will say, I give him credit for asking what he thinks he's worth. Now, notice I said what he thinks he's worth. Because he might value himself a little bit too, a little bit more than some other people would value him. But, uh, you know, you get out there and you ask for what you think you're worth. This is why I always get so mad with these Hollywood starlets who, who raise a hell because the much more famous box office draw dude name, their name is that gets top billing or paid more. And I'm like, okay, well, then if you can be a much of a box office draw as this guy, you can get paid the same. And also, it's not this guy's fault that your agent sucks. Right? I have an agent. And, and I mean, we, we, I go, I've gone through this for years. You do not ever be afraid to ask what you think you're worth. I will literally ask you, I will drag it, I will ask you, I will tell you what I think I'm worth, and I will say, this is what you got to meet right here. It's a fun process. Everyone loves me, including my lawyer. They all love me. This is the only time where I'm like super insufferable. But I always get mad at these starlets and people who don't ask for what they think they're worth. At least he did, Kane. He's like, you know, I'm worth a cyber truck and millions of dollars and shares in X. I'll give that much credit and then I'll stop there.